So Johnny Depp just scored the biggest Hollywood win the man could ever have. I mean, no joke. I mean, this, it is beyond massive. See, the folks that not only love but financially back Johnny Depp right now, they are talking about wanting to become a power player in Hollywood. The way that they're saying that they're going to do this is by buying a major Hollywood studio. This isn't a pipe dream either. They have eight hundred billion dollars in public investment funds that they can throw at this. They're saying they want to buy Paramount. I mean, think about this. We're talking about folks that love Johnny Depp enough that he is given the real rock star treatment. Not just in adoration, mind you, but put up in the finest digs. We're talking about rumors that he was staying at the palace. I mean, that is big time there. Plus, he's had not one, but now two movies that he wants to make financially backed. I mean, essentially, he's gotten a blank check. I mean, they're talking about millions and millions being paid out. Yeah, forget Warner. Forget Disney. This, this puts him right there where the action is. You and I, we're going to talk about this today, too. And this, so oh, this is really fun times. This is fun times indeed. All right. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day. By the way, I hope you were doing excellently. Man, this is some big time news right here. And that Amber Heard Show Media, they are salty about this, too. And I mean, this all starts out with the Red Sea Film Festival, which had a lot of A-list power with it, including Johnny Depp. I mean, here you can see it being discussed. You had Will Smith, Michelle Williams, Chris Hemsworth, Johnny Depp, Halle Berry, and so many others there in Saudi Arabia. Now, this wasn't your typical Hollywood back padding session where a company like, say, Warner or Disney, they want to go out, they want to get some name recognition. Now, this, this was about power influence, and diversification. And this is noted by places like Variety. And you know, they're salty to have to include Johnny Depp anywhere in this conversation. But listen to this. While enticing big-name talent this year generated positive publicity, the real Saudi mandate is to diversify the country's economy beyond oil, with the film industry one of its highest priorities. And the country's vast treasury is an irresistible lure for a business constantly on the prowl for a deep pocketed partners, aka Hollywood. Ooh, they would love some of that money. Now, at one time, I think Saudi Arabia actually would have been content with movie deals alone. But now, yeah, not so much. Why? Well, listen to this, and I'll explain this to you in just a moment. So, Saudi Hollywood deals had slowed to a trickle, but the spigot appears to be opened again. Former Warner Brothers production president Greg Silverman inked a pack with film, I'm not going to try that, for 10 projects over three years the most significant Saudi collaboration since the kingdom's status plummeted from Hollywood VIP to persona non grata. So essentially, you had a lot of money being invested in Hollywood. You had Saudi Arabia, they were pushing a lot in Hollywood. They kept their hands open. They kept making promises. Hundreds of millions of dollars ended up in people's hands. They didn't deliver. They had to give that money back. It just happened, by the way. Now you have discussions going beyond movies. Quote, but is a much bigger deal looming. In recent weeks, chatter swirl that the country's $800 billion public investment fund is looking to buy a major studio. So, they name, hey, we want this type of investment. But not only that, they give a name with that, namely Paramount. Sources also say that the Saudis, they have eye on Comcast-owned Golf Channel to complement the LIV Golf, which recently lured in Masters champ John Rahm from the PGA. So, you're talking about a lot of money, a lot of power, to the point that you can bring in huge names. Also, when they were talking about movie deals, there was a quote here saying, you know, the real power coming from the kingdom, it's in the ability to think long term, as in five, ten, 
20 years. You know, in the States, you can't do that because leadership changes. Here, though, you can think about building. And then they bring up the fact of a much bigger investment. Yeah, when you've had Hollywood try to lock you out of competition, you've had the same people that tried to screw over Johnny Depp. The exact same names, not somewhat names, not just Hollywood generic, but actual folks take hundreds of millions of dollars, not deliver. I mean, what do you think is on the mindset? Huge star, we can prime them, we can make money. I mean, they are searched the world over. Plus, our competition would really, really despise this. Now, as far as Johnny Depp and Saudi Arabia are concerned, too, I mean, even Amber Heard Shill Media has to admit, when the man's there, he is given the rock star treatment. This is from The Hollywood Reporter. Quote, We love you, Johnny. Depp gets the rock star treatment in Saudi Arabia. The actor was at the Red Sea Film Festival for a screening of his brand new movie, which was partly financed by Saudi Arabia. So there you have it right there. I mean, you not only have adoration, but you have financial backing. And when you're talking about wanting someone to, I mean, these are the same people behind Red Sea Film Festival here that paid Will Smith million dollars reported. Gwyneth Paltrow got even more than that. Johnny Depp he was rumored to be staying at the Royal Palace. I mean, you saw interviews and more. He had the real star treatment. And listen to this. Again, remembering this is from her show media. They have to be salty about it. So Johnny Depp underlined his growing relationship with Saudi Arabia on Friday by taking part in a Q&A at the country's Red Sea Film Festival following a screening of his new movie. The actor had been due to attend the screening itself, but it's the director that explained he's always late. Not that the crowd minded his self-described procrastination, however, with cheers following the discussion and at least one yell of, we love you, Johnny, from an audience member as he was ushered away by a security team to which Depp smiled and waved courteously. Outside the cinema at the Red Sea Mall, where the screening took place, Depp had to quickly be escorted to his car as news of his presence sparked a flood of people racing to catch a glimpse of the actor and attempt to get a selfie. So again, that shows you the star power. That shows you the draw. And it's not just public adoration. Again, we are talking about real money, real backing. On top of that, the same people that don't like Johnny Depp, they tried to force out the folks with real money and power. They wanted to make them the competition. Ah, Johnny Depp just got a monster win. Like I said, this is probably the biggest win he could ever have in terms of Hollywood. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough. Want to help out the channel, by the way. Links are in the description. Appreciate you, too. Check that out. I hope you have great holidays, too. If you don't see anything else, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you.